Welcome back, Simona Cocchi, The Italian Way. I'm here today to introduce one of uh, the most uh, relevant voices in uh, art contemporary photography. I'm talking about Nan Goldin. She is participating to Biennale Cinema 79 with a particular low role. As a protagonist of a work entitled uh, all the beauty and the bloodshed. Um, this is not a film, this is not a biography, it's not a do documentary as they, uh, um, they claim during uh, the uh, press conference, but is a um, report, is a shout um, to uh, to make the audiences um, aware of uh, the problems related to uh, drug users and uh, how much they um, exploited uh, this uh, uh, plague to earn money from uh, the uh, medicines and also how much they could uh, um, um, relief the life of these people. So as you know, Nan Goldin, uh, uh, since the 1916, she has been living at the border of society, knowing deeply the um, uh, environment of drug, uh, drug abusers, uh, drug queens case, uh, and uh, living mostly due at night, during the nights, and uh, um, gathering with a certain kind of people and uh, that mostly had this kind of issue. So it has been the moment because she said my photography career is tributed to um, give messages. I don't want to just use the camera for with no a, a, any other goals, but I want to communicate something. So let's uh, uh, discover more about uh, this uh, film. So um, this is the cover, of course, of uh, Biennale Cinema. I wanted to play a little bit with the red carpet and my logo. Any, anyway, this is the Leone d'Oro. Okay, um, let's dive uh, and uh, um, investigate a little bit on the uh, scheme and the main features of this uh, uh, all the beauty and the bloodshed. So the director, uh, she's a very uh, sensitive woman, La Laura Poitras. And then we have uh, the participants uh, that you, we are going to um, uh, listen to the f from the press conference, our Gettler, John Lyons, Nan Golding herself, that she started doubting a little bit in her present uh, uh, in uh, in the production but then she felt so intimate with the cast and then she decided to step in uh, personally and so thanks to the work um, of uh, the uh, director and the ability of uh, uh, um, gaining trust from uh, Nan Golden. So the synopsis is very uh, clear. So this is uh, a, an emotional story about international renewed artists and activists. So the thing is that uh, they want to um, uh, make the audiences uh, uh, aware of the pain's actions uh, and also how much uh, uh, troubles uh, cause uh, the uh, Sackler uh, family to this kind of minorities in USA. So let's start uh, uh, just having a few comments from uh, them uh, uh, during the... Corley said you, you did wear audio, there was no video involved. What, what made that choice? What determined and how did it impact the choice? Like I said, that's what allowed it to be so intimate. I mean, Laura first filmed us at, in London when I had an opening in the Marion Goodman Gallery in 2019. And nobody was even conscious of her filming. I mean, it's the fly on the wall technique. 
where that kind of invisibility allows life to go on without any interception. And then, I guess, during COVID, it was much easier to talk than it would have been if I was on film. Yeah, yeah I think it's essential. I don't think we would have been able to have the intimacy that we were... Um, yeah, so at this point, uh, they are talking about uh, the intimacy that uh, they created uh, because uh, during the lockdown, uh, uh, Laura Poitras uh, uh, used to um, spend time and uh, uh, spend time, yeah, most of the time uh, with uh, Nangoldin. So they built uh, such an incredible and trustworthy. Uh, relationship uh, through which they uh, uh, they they process uh, the film and finally they had the chance to present uh, in Biennale so Nan Goldin she is really proud uh, to be there she uh, keep on saying uh, yeah I want to be in Venice I'm so happy for this because uh, we have to uh, I remind ourselves that uh, Nangoldin essentially uh, started uh, his uh, successful career with the presentation of uh, the ballad of sexual dependency right in uh, Biennale Arte in Venice. So I think it's also uh, a very good uh, point uh, for Biennale to be reunited with this uh, uh, incredible artist that uh, I have to say she is extremely uh, funny. I think she, her, her works are absolutely uh, strong and uh, um, unusual and I think they, she uh, put a lot of uh, her, herself and her soul intimate and uh, um, empanity in any uh, pics uh, she uh, she did and at this point uh, mm, let the trailer uh, convince us uh, on the um, activism of Nan Goldin and I really hope to be able very soon to uh, report and to uh, realize a digital review on uh, her our show but keep on staying tuned because uh, I'm gonna uh, reveal more uh, features of this uh, cinema uh, Ven Venezia Cinema Festival 79 keep on staying tuned ciao